Hi there, my name is Bryce Button. I'm AJA Product Marketing Manager. Here we are at IBC 2015, and I'd just like to give you a little quick tour of what we have going on at the booth. Uh, this section of the stand is a science stand. I'm pleased to let you know that we've released both a new client reel today, which you can see on our website or on Vimeo. We've also released new firmware, so that's 1.21 firmware. Uh, with this firmware, we've uh, put in some encoding enhancements, as well as some user requests for particular bug fixes they wanted to see and enhancements. So with the Scion, the uh, development of the Scion continues on. It's been a very successful camera for us. Uh, and let me take you around the booth and show you some of the other elements because what we've been doing for this show is building out bridge products that help you get to 4K if you're not quite there. And if you're in 4K already, give you different options in terms of how to utilize it. So let's go take a look at some of the other elements now. In particular, what we're proud to show you at the show is the Corvid HEVC. Uh, and what this is about is taking our development card, working with our development partners, in this case with Cisco. And the whole point of HEVC is to actually make 4K manageable. Uh, and what manageable means is getting it down to bandwidth, high quality, and being able to utilize it. So the Corvid HEVC has got four SDI inputs in it. So you could come out of something like the Scion camera live and you could encode it to HEVC, or you could be going file to file. In other words, you might be on a playout server, you need to encode it to HEVC, which is basically the H.265 codec that everyone's been talking about for a couple of years, and then be able to put that back up to the server. So a lot of options. Uh, at the stand, as I said, a number of development partners. If we take a look down here to the right, you also see that there's Foundry and Autodesk, uh, all utilizing our equipment in different uh, means. Um, one of the exciting things, one of the reasons we have some of these developers here with us is the fact that our new desktop drivers also include Linux drivers for retail now, which is a very exciting step. So on this portion of the stand, as you can see, we have our new FS product. FS, of course, stands for Frame Synchronizer. This is the FS3. And what we're doing with this particular product is we're offering you the ability to do easy SDHD up conversion to 4K because this is another part of your workflow. Yes, you might have shot stuff in the sign of 4K. The chances are you're sitting on a heck of a lot of older material, commercials, etc., that have be done at HD, and you're going to have to get it up to 4K in a hurry. Uh, so what this product does is you can bring in an SDOHD source, and we're actually spitting out three 4K simultaneous outputs, two sets of uh, four 3G SDIs plus fiber. So that's a lot of power in a product that's very reasonably priced. You're talking under 3,000 US MSRP. It also offers all of the other tools that we've had in our FS products before, SDHD, up-down, cross-conversion within those formats. But primarily, it's designed to get you going very quickly with real 4K workflows and building out your entire workflow. Within the broadcast space, Ross, a number of years ago, introduced a standard that was called Open Gear. We're very really pleased to announce at the show that AJA has their our first open gear cards and frame. So what this means is that we have a DA, we have an SDI to fiber and fiber to SDI card, and we have our own uh, frame here, all that work with the open gear standard. This is fabulous news. You might already own cards. You'd like to utilize our new open gear box. That's fine. We can sell it to you. Or you may already have the box, but you're looking for the reliability, the warranty support, all of the great features you're used to with AJA converters. Well, now we have some open gear compatible cards. Uh, and this is the point of the standard. This, this is a standard that allows manufacturers to uh, provide cards utilized within other manufacturers' uh, equipment and vice versa. So the open gear standard has been around some time, as I said and AJ is very pleased to be joining the consortium uh, with this IBC. So earlier this year at Infocom, AJ introduced our first HD-based T mini converters. And the whole point of doing this was to create a, a converter that was able to get HDMI, in that case, video across much longer distances. So if you're not familiar with HD-based T, the point here is to be able to use an Ethernet cable, Category 5 or even Category 6, and run up to 100 meters, as you might be used to in a typical HDMI cable can only go a few feet and then the signal drops off. Uh, so what we've done at this show is we've also introduced the HBR SDI and the HBT SDI. 
And so these are SDI versions, again running off uh, HDBase T, and you can mix and match them. So on the wall here, what you're seeing is uh, HDMI feeding into the monitor as well as SDI. You can have HDMI on one side, you can have SDI on the other. Great companion pieces. Again, the purpose here is to get as much distance as you can using existing infrastructure that's as simple as possible. And so the HDBase T, you're basically using Ethernet cables to get point to point and carrying your baseband video. It's a great solution for smaller entities and for larger facilities. Finally, on the desktop side, we have software 12.3. One of the great features of 12.3 is that it introduces our first retail Linux drivers. Uh, we've also included a lot of great new features, including uh, TTAP support within streaming with Wirecast, everything from audio de uh, delay controls within the control panel. Uh, we've also brought in the ability to automatically recognize your input on any of our cards for output. Um, a lot of great new features in this new software, and I think you're going to love it. It's available today. Simply go to www.aja.com to learn a lot more about this software as well as all the great new products that we've introduced at this show. Thanks very much for joining us.